Hey y'all, coming to y'all with the message per huge. So I just wanted to talk to y'all today about that glass being half full, half empty, right? And I felt like this was such a good message because when you think about life, right? And all the different circumstances and this analogy is so good across the board. You think about the analogy, looking at the glass half full, half empty. You have to really think about your mindset, right? And mindset has everything to do with how you rationalize and how you deal with your emotions and your thoughts coupled together right and so when in any situation you have to ask yourself how often do I let a situation consume me and how often do I allow a situation to uplift me and you have to think about where your mind is in the midst of all of that looking at the glass half full just means that you're always going to keep a positive perspective you're always going to be optimistic you're always going to have a level of openness and objectiveness these things will allow you to process your thoughts and your emotions in a very meaningful way because you're actually tapping into the part of your mind that will allow you to see circumstances and look at all the different scenarios and to how you should process it in a positive way. Looking at a glass half full keeps your mind at its highest vibration. When God places us with circumstances, trials and tribulations to make decisions, he gives us wisdom and good common sense. And he also gives us free will to ensure that we're making the best sound-minded decisions for our health. A lot of the times the reason why people struggle with mental health issues or get frustrated when having to make very important decisions is because their brain capacity is not operating from the positive perspective that I just named. They're operating from the space of the glass half empty. When you're thinking like that, that means your vibration is low. Your mentality is negative. You don't have a growth mindset. You have a deficit mindset. And I'm going to run that back one time because that was good. You have a deficit mindset, meaning you think of lack. You can also have poverty in your mind. Poverty is not always a state of being and what we exist in on a day-to-day -day basis physically. You can have a poverty mindset. And a lot of people, based on their childhood and the circumstances that he passed through as children, it has everything to do with the bearing on how you show up in the earth and how you see and operate from that space, that mental space of the glass half empty. Are you a pessimistic person? Are you a person that does not weigh options out? Are you a person that operates in fear, worry, doubtfulness? All of the things that the enemy authors. Is that the first place that your mind goes to when you're trying to process your thoughts in a given situation? Half of what we pass through in this life, I don't think we realize, some of us don't realize that it starts with our childhood. One day what I did during the pandemic at the very beginning is I sat down and I started processing, why am I the way that I am? How did I get like this? Where did these things start? What am I missing in my upbringing that caused my mindset to be the way that it was, operating in some instances from a glass half empty kind of perspective? And then once I start mapping out the parent parental guidance or lack thereof, parentification and having to be a parent to a child before I was able to ever become a child growing into an adult on my own with parental guidance. Those things have everything to do with our mindset. But the greatest thing that I love about our relationship with God is God will be that reality check that you need once you lock into him and letting you know, even if you did have lack or even if there was a deficit in your upbringing and you didn't have the parental guidance that will allow you to process your thoughts in a positive and meaningful way, you still have a God that loves you so much. He sits high, he looks low. He just asks you to pull on mustard seed faith if that's all you have in a given moment or a given instance. Allow that mustard seed faith to be the thing that will allow you to connect to him so that he can change your mindset, change your way of thinking, allow you to understand that you are greater than the sum of the parts that you dwell in the existence of. You can be an amazing soul. You can be an amazing person, but you have to first believe that. The only way that you can ever believe that you are the one 
and never the two is if you allow God to show you how he sees you. The world can tell us who we are, but that doesn't mean that that is the true self. That's never how God wants you to think about yourself. He wants you to look at yourself in his image, his eyes. What does he say about you? You have to learn who you are and whose you are. Because once those two things are the greatest thought process that you have in your mind, that is when you can start seeing the glass half full and never operating in a space of half empty. Half empty operates in lack. The devil authorizes those kinds of thoughts. God operates in abundance. Your mindset is everything to do with your vibration. And if your vibration is low, my loves, I encourage you, I implore you to get down on your hands and knees and get at Jesus' feet. Open your Bible and pray for direction so that God can elevate and ascend how you see yourself in this earth. Because once you change your mindset, and you start pulling into the real you and understanding that you can be bold. You can be a catalyst of change. You can take a new form. You can break the generational curse. It ends with you. But you have to first seek ye first the kingdom of God. And he will add the things that you need to live a sustainable life that allows you to grow holistically into the one that God created you to be my loves someone needed this message in this moment and i just thank god for giving me the intention and using me as a vessel to speak to you to help you see the things that maybe are not at the forefront of your brain because of the level of where you're operating in as far as your energy my loves someone needed to hear this message i hope it encourages you i'll talk to you guys soon